The first fish that we found to be biofluorescent was a small eel, um, and it was in nighttime. We're diving off of the Bloody Bay Wall in, on Little Cayman Island. In the process of finding it, we started to find, wait a minute, here's another fish that's fluorescent, here's another fish, here's a stingray, and that was also fluorescent. So this just sent us off being like, wait a second, this isn't exactly a rare occurrence. Then we went to the, the Solomon Islands in the summer of 2012, and that's, that's where we found the core of our fluorescent fish. This is one of the places with the coral triangle, which has some of the most abundant uh, marine diversity on the planet. We started to see that this is, this is something that extends beyond um, the bony fish and it goes into the cartilaginous fish, into the rays, maybe it'll also be in sharks. So we started to go down um, when we were in the Solomon Islands, we were trying to f get the sharks close enough that we could film them. And we also went to a series of aquariums and it turns out that the, some of the smaller sharks, the, the cat sharks, are brilliantly fluorescent, as bright as some of the brightest fish, as bright as the corals. When you see the images, when you see it's all over, it's in their eyes, it's, um, it's down their skin, um, this is making me think that it's something that's important physiologically for this animal, and we, we, at this moment, we do not know what the function is. So in order to see the phenomena of biofluorescence, we used scientific filters and we created the same pure blue, a very tight notch blue filter. And then that is the, the light that's always bathing these animals. They live in a blue world. The world is blue all the time. And we did this, we recreate the blue light, but then when we film it, we don't want to see the blue light. We just want to see the light that's getting absorbed by these animals and is coming back off. So we have a yellow filter that we put in front of our camera lens and that only allows us to see the fluorescence, the reds, the greens um, that are coming off the animal. So what's next? Can the fish see this? Is this playing a role in their behavior? I'm really interested in at the protein level. We identified over 180 species in this single paper that there's opened up more questions um, that we're, we're really excited to start digging into. I just find this real serenity and beauty to being in the reef at night. And now when we add on this kind of fluorescent layer, it's like being on another planet. You know, you're on some surreal Martian landscape.